Hey, what is up, guys? Skullified here, and we are back with Bad Batch episode six. Um, it's even shorter than last week's. Um, last week's was 26 minutes, this week is 25, and that's including credits and intros and openings. So, um, that's saddening because I th these need to be going up as the famous um elevator meme um that's going around, but. Yeah, no, it's just still a really good show, even though it keeps getting shorter in time, which is saddening, but, um, last episode, we had a Rancor, a baby Rancor named Moochie, um, who a lot of people have theorized to be the Rancor in episode 6, because obviously he went to Jabba's, but the Rancor in the original is, um, named Patissa, um, so if, unless they, like, retconned it, I guess retcon the name or unless moochie's like a nickname it's not the same rancor which is kind of sad because i really thought it was during the episode last week um but uh yeah no um excited to see where this episode goes again it's shorter so hopefully there's a lot of action to make up for it if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below leave a like if you enjoy my reactions to the bad batch and uh, we'll be also be act be reacting english to uh, Book of Boba this December. So uh, make sure to subscribe, extra subscribe. Don't wanna miss that, because that's gonna be absolutely insane. And uh, yeah, let's hop right into episode six. Well, it's not even 26 minutes, it's 24 minutes and 19 seconds. Oh God. Well, if the episode's called Decommissioned, I take it they're losing their deal with um Sid. Is she trying to learn her bowcaster thing? Oh my god, she is. This is great. <laughs> That's not bullseye, but it's close. I find it funny that people are betting on a kid trying to shoot a laser bow at a target on a bar wall. She was... She was really good with the one, um... In episode one, when she shot that, um... Crosshair's gun, right? So maybe they won't lose their relationship with Sid this episode. Maybe they're, the decommission is talking about the droids. Oh! Oh, damn, Sid! Okay! So she needs to get some strong arms. Or use the force to control it. True. I didn't even think of that. That's super true. Love how he can just figure that out so easily. I know he's a smart one, I'm just saying. It's cool that he's actually does something because he's smart. What does he not like climbing? I wonder if we're gonna get more head pains this episode or if they're just gonna do it as a one it's every other episode type thing. Maybe he doesn't like heights. Oh, there's some B1 battle droids. Right? Damn, they're burning everything. <laughs> I love Wrecker so much. And I'm glad... Omega needs a little set of kid Bad Batch armor. So she fits in. And is, like, safe. Huh. She's holding that... So these aren't actual workers. They're doing an op. Rafa? Wait, these are the sisters... These are the sisters from, um... 
Season 7, right? With Ahsoka? Ruff and Trace? I think so, right? Just shoot her. No one liked them anyway. Just shoot her. God damn it, Omega. No, not a bow! Yeah, that's not her fault at all. The one you knocked to Yeah, you... Oh, that's some... G that's some good uh, cover fire there, by Riker. Oh my god. He's gonna have to do some, like, parkour with the... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, he... <laughs> he hit his head again. Oh no. Oh no, that's probably not good at all. And they're on the conveyor belt oh no omega's under oh no the trace is gonna have to come back and grab her right oh no oh no oh no 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 wrecker Wrecker. No, this is so bad. This is so, so bad. And Omega's trapped. Oh, this is so bad. Wait, did she get out? Oh, no, she's still stuck. She can just stand up. Oh, God, this is bad. Yeah, Trace is gonna have to grab her. I don't think many people would be complaining, though. Oh, well, her foot got untangled. That's good. Oh, God. She actually fell in the pit. Oh, see, Trace was always the better one. Oh, no. Force? Force something? Um, um, that doesn't look very good. Oh god. As long as she holds on, it should be okay. Oh god. There we go. Thank god. Okay. But good soldiers follow orders, and Wrecker is not being a very bad soldier right now. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Tech needs to fix this crap quick. Yeah, there is. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh my god, is he gonna act? Are they gonna activate all the droids? They have a lot of technology just sitting there. I, I mean, his name is Tech, so it makes sense. Is he okay? Or are good soldiers following orders? Okay, he's okay. He needs to, he needs, they need to look at that, though. Oh, God, that was bad. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> How do they have so many of these droids? This is great. <laughs> Why are they using like guerrilla tactics now? That's actually pretty cool. 
It was nice hearing them again, too. R7? Oh no, the head! Oh, that's not good. Oh, she got the bow back. Cool. Let's go, Omega. Um, so they're, they're, are they just going to be battle droids on Corellia just roaming around? Ahsoka talking about how she's different from Jedi. I, I think that's cool that they brought those characters back. Granted, I know they weren't really liked that much, but... Okay, I didn't like that. So Wrecker seems to not be having too many issues right now. Just a little quick good soldiers follow orders. Oh, I thought we were gonna bump it a bump it a bum. Please tell me she's not doing it for the bad reasons. Oh, it's a bad guy. God damn it. Who is it? Oh my god. God damn it. I hate these people. I literally said they were like, they weren't that liked during the. Oh my god, the actual episode was only 20 minutes long. That's ridiculous. Um, I literally even said. Oh, uh, they weren't really liked in the Clone Wars. That was, like, one of the arcs that got the major, like, some backlash during the final season. And now they're, they've they just went with it and turned them straight. A straight wrestling move turned them heel. Um, now they're the bad guys, which is... I really like them, too. I don't know why they would help them. I know it, like, help them escape or whatever, but still. Such a dick move. It's annoying. Um, okay, well, now they don't have the intel. For good people. Um, and now they're getting sold out. When they could have just kept the intel and gave it to Sid. And probably been better off for it. Oh, god damn it. That's, that's really annoying. <laughs> that is really annoying. Um. Okay, so we got Wrecker more head. We got some more head, um, pain with Wrecker. Which, it was triggered by him hitting his head. Which makes me think that the original one... The plane crash where he hit his head is what kind of caused the original headaches. And then we got, like, an episode off from it in episode four. And then episode five, last episode, we went back to it. Now, this episode, we literally had him say, good soldiers, follow orders once or twice. Which is getting awfully close to him going whole, like, complete crosshair style. Which is bad. Um, I know in, I think it was, like, episode two... They were working, um, Tech was working on that, um, chip scanner thing? Or maybe it was episode three. But we haven't seen it since, and I really am hoping that that comes back and they, like, scan Wrecker or everyone with it and just are like, wait, Wrecker's is fucked up. Let's fix this. Because I really don't want another Crosshair. Because that would be so bad if Wrecker and Crosshair both go to the Empire. Especially seeing Wrecker's like my favorite one of the Bad Batch, or just like because he's just funny, he's strong. He, um, Hunter's I I really like Hunter, but I don't know. There's just something about Wrecker that makes me really like him, and I really don't want him to be a bad guy. That would make me pretty upset. Oh God, I'm I'm hoping that they do kind of figure out what is wrong with him, and then they use the info that they find out from like fixing Wrecker, I guess, to like possibly fix crosshair down the line although we also don't see these guys in any of like rebels or a new hope or any of the og movies so i'm not sure if they're going to make it out of this series which would just be depressing unless they're going to do a season two which then i definitely don't see them making it out of that so i'm really scared for them I kind of have a bad feeling that they're not gonna get back. I wouldn't be surprised if I wouldn't be surprised if Wrecker gets fixed, but I'd be surprised if Crosshair does slash most of them make it out of this season or the show, unless they like go become like um cut. I think it was yeah, C 
cut and like go live a life like their own kind of like civilian life although with what they're going through i can't see them just turning away the rebellion or i mean it's not even going to be a rebellion at this point we had, we saw a little bit of saw like doing some like guerrilla stuff and trying to get some people together but there's no obviously rebellion right now even in rebels the rebellion is just beginning and that's five years before a new hope so i don't know i just can't see bad batch i can't see any good way this ends for bad batches i guess what i'm trying to say but anyways um very much enjoyed this episode even though it's been the shortest episode since i they really need to start bringing these episodes up in time because like i love watching the show every friday morning and i need more of the show not less of it but anyways um once again subscribe if you haven't um we will be reacting to book of bobin all star wars um related stuff coming this year and honestly whenever it comes out whether that's um i don't know if mandalorian's coming out this year if that they're or if they're just doing Book of Boba and then Mandalorian the next year, or what they're doing with that when the Kenobi show comes out. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. And I uh, guess I can't wait to see you guys in the next one next week. Um, episode 6, once again, hopefully it's a bit longer, because I really need some more Bad Batch in the life. Peace. <laughs>